Hey, Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Yarza Yun. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honor to the head elders who are the apostles and bishops, a great millstone. I was just sitting here, Shalom to you, Akim, throughout the world, man. Just sitting here thinking about how, you know, one of, one of, one of the main things that through the Spirit, um, the Spirit always has me, you know, think about, you know, because after all, Lord, my particular walk, the Lord just got me amongst a bunch of niggas, man, Jake. But nonetheless, I wanted to talk about how it's incorporated in this Israelite thing, man. You know, and we wonder why, or I wonder why, you know, and I can say we, you know, Lord willing, hopefully you brothers out there feel the same way, which I'm sure you do in the spirit. But we wonder why there's so much madness going on amongst uh, the Israelite camps. And we know first and foremost, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sorting out who serves him and who doesn't serve him. Who's with him truly, sincerely, and who's not with him truly, sincerely. But I wanted to deal with it from the angle of Jake is so damn off because they've been steeped, all right, in this American culture, which American culture is AKA black culture. And they're putting that, they're making that a part of the the, the Israelite, uh, uh, the Israelite so-called image, man. All right, they're mixing black culture, Hispanic, Latin, so-called Latin culture, so-called Native American, which all goes back to idolatry uh, when you really look at it, uh, and that's what got us in, that's what got our nation so jacked up. But that's what it is, man. You know, because I'm sitting here just like, damn, it's because of these niggas, these ninjas, <laughs> they're incorporating black culture into the Israelite thing, and that means that they ne they never became a new creature. They never let this Babylon Babylonian uh, uh, way of thinking that 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 um, they have been, you know, steeped in. Go. Hope I'm saying it right. So lock it, man. You know, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together. You know, these are these are impromptu's, but nonetheless, well, only you edify it. And so I was thinking about the, the the scripture right here, Jeremiah two and twenty one. All right, because you got you got you you out here, you know, you out here in America, you know that you uh, you have been awakened to the fact that you're an Israelite, but you still acting like a downright nigga, an absolute nigga, man. You know. Now don't get me wrong. I mean, of course, you know, the Lord's gonna have mercy on who He have mercy on, but damn, we are too far. All right. As I like to quote a uh, beloved brother, <laughs> Amar Gabar, we are too far in the jar, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not a game, but we're too late in the game, so to speak, for uh, for, for the for you know, especially you brothers out there amongst the camps, the Great Millstone camps, to be uh, still uh, 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 infected with this black culture mentality, man. You know what I'm saying? Get the hell up out of that shit or else you know or you should know or you're going to find out. All right? What how how that that turns out, man. Look at what is look look at what is continuously been happening unto our people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. But nonetheless, the Lord got his uh his remnant. So, Jeremiah 2:21, yet I had planted thee a noble vine. Holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Because, yeah, you got, you know, these alphabet groups out there. Yeah, whatever. All right. They doing, they out there on the highways and hedges and they're, you know, uh, teaching a word. Telling Israel, telling Jake that they're Israel. But but then what? What about what's, what's going on in there and the, behind closed doors in their personal lives? They're still not, you know, walking according to what an Israelite should be. 
So that's a degenerate plant in the strange vine unto the Lord. Because you're supposed to live this thing. You're not supposed to be no damn hypocrite, man. For though thou wash thee with nitre and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, saith Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Because it's a spiritual cleansing. It's a spiritual refinement that we're all going through. How canst thou say, I am not polluted? I have not gone after Balaam. All right, we all have, because we were all what? Gentiles in the mind. All right? But does do you bring that Gentile state of mind, that old nigga, into this uh, precious uh, uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? You know the answer to that. See thy way in the valley. Know that thou has, know what thou has done. You see? And that's the, that's the thing. It's about acknowledgement. We we're supposed to acknowledge that, you know, we we have gone off. But now that you know you're Israelite, it becomes like a you have a newfound pride. You know, instead of black culture, now you want to say, you know, is Israelite culture. And it's still black culture. Thou art a swift dromedary traversing her ways, man. And a dromedary is a female camel. Traversing her ways. Traversing her ways. All right, give me a second. I'm going to look up that word traversing. I'm on the play mode. Salakia. You know, you brothers get the time. You look up that word. Matter of fact, Salakia. Let me just take it off. I don't want no extra. You know. Okay, we're going to look up the traversing definition. Okay, traverse. Okay, definition. Traverse. Right, so when the scriptures say, Thou art a swift dromedary traversing her ways, it says, Travel across or through, move something back and forth or sideways. Hmm. Move something back and forth or sideways. <laughs> Yo. You know? You're all over the damn place. Back and forth and sideways, man. Alright? But yeah, man. They, these, these guys are trying to... Not trying. They're, they're incorporating black culture into... Alright? The, the pure and holy ways of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. And that's going to bring about a swift judgment. A great judgment. All right, I just want to speak on that. Shalom.